Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 6 of Let's Play Secret of Mana. And last time, I don't want to reminisce on last time, because that was just absolutely atrocious, so let's just move on and see if we can figure out where this, uh, oh hello. My oh my, you from the surface? A while ago, a sprite's child was washed down here, it's doing magic tricks. Neato. Hmm. So what is this place exactly? Is this like the real meat of Gaia's navel? I suppose it would be. Oh, it's an inn. I totally want to stay here. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit low on uh, stuff, on stamina. One nice 15 GP? I can handle that. Nice. Oh, three beds. Go figure. I <laughs> Why do they sleep on the bed so much further away from each other, like as far away as possible? Is that just instinctually what people do? I don't, know. I don't even know. Either way, let's just get a move on. Because I am kind of excited to explore this place, actually. I'm not totally sure what to expect. I remember someone mentioning something about dwarves, but that's about it. And I'm guessing these guys are the dwarves. Underground palace? That's been buried for ages. Well, jeez. There are so many small earthquakes. There. Again. What? <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. I think that guy's schizophrenic or something. Because I didn't see no earthquake. Uh... So what else is around down here? There's just like a bunch of staircases and stalagmites everywhere. Is this the same guy I talked to? Or do they just both say the same things? I'm gonna wager on the ladder. Oh, jeez. Oh, hello. No. Oh, wait. No, I did see that. Okay. Jeez. I guess I just wasn't paying attention the first time. Just thinking about something stupid, I guess. Uh, what's up here? What could be up here? Underground palace? Uh, dude, I'm talking to like the same three guys over and over again. This is ridiculous. Uh, say, show me that sword. It's covered with rust. It'll break in no time. I am Watts, the blacksmith. I'll reforge it for 100 GP. Um, well, I, it's, it's kind of what we want, isn't it? Isn't that what the Luca said? Uh, right, wait a sec. I'm not, I can't even tell who the guy, I thought that was like a statue that I like went up to and I was, I was trying to examine it and I didn't realize it was a guy. It's done. It will never, I've never seen a sword as fine as this one in all my life. I hope someday I can forge a, such a splendid sword. Huh? What on earth? My hammer started to glow. Uh-oh. The mana sword? Damn it, he recognized us. Astonishing. Perhaps the power of the mana sword has seeped into my hammer. Great, I think I'll try and make an axe with this. Come back in a while. What the hell just happened? I, I'm guessing we just got a sword upgrade. So, I don't know what he was talking about with his axe or anything. I guess he's a cool-looking dwarf, though. Oh, I can't go this way yet. So, hmm. Okay, this music is actually starting to wear on me a little bit. It's still cool and everything. It's just I don't know. I haven't played so often. It's kind of a nuisance. Is this gonna be the same guy in here? Okay, thank you, God. I was tired of seeing that guy in every shop and every inn that we went to. Okay, what do you got here? We got uh, dude. I can't like control this power wrist, elbow pad. We already have that wristband. We already have that spiky suit. That's for me. That's for Argon. Chain vest, I think we already have that. Midge robe. That, well, that's not for anyone, apparently. Headgear. Huh. Rabbite cap. Also not for anyone. Hmm. Very peculiar. Well, what should I invest in? I think I'm gonna get a spiky suit for myself. But that's pretty much all I can afford at this point. I might have to go, like, grind for GP or something. That's what a lot of comments have been saying, is that, like, this game is kind of uh, bad for having to grind a lot. And I'm guessing that's just gonna be later in the game, because I haven't seen I haven't seen the need to grind a lot lately. Or at all, so. Alright, and let's see if we can sell our old equipment to this guy. No, don't buy, dude. Buy is the exact opposite of what you wanna do. What the hell? Okay, and uh chain vest. Sweet. Alright, nice. Now I think we can be out of here. Yay! What is my cat doing? She made the weirdest sound just now. Kind of, it sounded like she was in pain almost. But I'm looking at her right now. She's just sitting there. She's just sitting there, all smug and happy. I don't know why she was making a, such weird noises. Mm. Do we have more of this mazy area? I'm not even totally sure. Ha ha ha! Welcome to the dwarf village. Have you been next door? There are many curious things in this village. Why not take a look? Damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I have to leave for a second. My cat really is depressed, apparently. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, what did this guy say again? I kind of wasn't paying attention a little bit. Oh, this is the Elder. Cool. Yeah, I have to go next door. Is that what this is? Okay. 
Did he say something about many curios? I love that word, curios. Hoo hoo hoo. Ah, uh, so this this should be next door, right? It's like right across the counter from him. Man, I'm not even controlling this. What? Step right on in. It's the Dwarf Village World Famous Exhibit Hut. Huh? Me, Elder? Me? Nah, nah, I run a show. Wanna see it? Wait, you're not the Elder then? Okay, um, pay or leave. I love that the pay or leave. They're both so, like, blunt. That's funny. Alright, let's see what's happening. The show, the show is just starting. Alright. Is this gonna be like that one freaking uh, thing? Oh, first cast your eyes on the rabbi, on the this rabbi man, the only one in the world. Th that's a rabbi. Take one rabbi and one man, and it's rabbi man. What the hell? <laughs> this is what? And now presenting on an actual, an actual very rare sprite child. Oh, he's cute. Boo hoo hoo. Uh, won't you please help me? Wait, no. What, dude? He Yes, folks, it's pure tragedy. Weep as you hear his story. This poor child has fif has a 50,000 GP debt to pay off? Oh my god, it's here working off the debt bit by bit. Oh please, gentle people. Please help me, even 100 GP will help. Oh, but I feel bad, but like... Oh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm too generous of a soul to say no. Oh joy, thank you. I'll take that, thank you so much. I feel like I just got scammed, but... Who knows? Now will the guy say something different now that we've done that? I'm not totally sure. Uh, well, how was that? What an actor I am. That was like, that guy was even crying. Well, I wasn't too bad myself. Ha, huh? we're gonna make a fortune. Wait a minute. Was I just scammed? You gotta be kidding me. Aye, <laughs> did you just overhear what we just said? But please forgive us, this child really is a sprite child. I used to live in the sprite forest, but a flood brought it here. I thought I'd help it earn the money to return home. Good idea, huh? Hey, you have to apologize, too. Harumph. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, damn straight. Give me back my money. Thank you. Oh, all 150 of it. Cool. What do you guys have to say now? Sorry. Didn't mean any harm. Well, can I go this way, then? What was the point of that, though? I don't know. Oh, now I got to do stage show myself. Yay. It's like I'm on Broadway. But no one's there. It's like I'm on Broadway, except you die. Well, are they gonna say anything else, or can I just leave? Okay, I guess I'm just leaving. I don't know. Nope, Sydney, come on. <laughs> Work around the table, please. Thank you. Well, that was a whole lot of hoopla for apparently nothing in return. I just spent 150 GP and got it right back. Uh-oh. What on earth? Well, it's just another one of those mini earthquakes, right? Something's coming! Huh? Oh, wait, this music sounds too familiar. Wait, what the hell? Is that like a cactus up there? Huh. Dude. What? <laughs> is this? Oh, it's- Oh my god, it's like a- It's a- It's a boss, isn't it? I assume so. Oh, and I just hit it, I think. Yeah, I'm doing damage to it. Well, is there a way to actually get around to it, or do I actually have to hit it through the freaking walls? No, t Lay your fingers off my Sydney, come on. I mean your bombs. Alright, come on. Is he, gonna, is he gonna appear? No, he's gonna appear over there. Oh god. I'm gonna get you. Okay, apparently his hitbox is a lot larger than it seems. Because I seem to be hitting them even though I'm clearly not hitting him. Come on. Yes. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm taking massive damage myself though, so. Good of the Lord. Dude, he like takes forever to spawn out of his thing. What is this thing anyways? This is like a cross between Tweety Bird and something else. Oh god, I'm gonna die here in a second if I don't uh, muster my courage. If I don't just bite my pride or eat my pride and use a candy. There we go. That's just dandy now. Dude, this is so scary. Oh my god. <laughs> why, is this, why is this guy even here? Dude. I am so confused. We went from like a totally boring state of affairs to this, where I have no idea what the hell's going on. Oh! Why is this thing- why is there a rock bouncing around until it hits me? Is there any way to make it go away without it hitting me? If there is, I'd love to know it. Oh, apparently that worked. I don't know, it looked like it hit Sydney though, so... Can't be totally sure though that was right. 
I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing here. Oh, well, <laughs> apparently. Apparently that worked, I guess. Explodes in the same way as that Mantis guy from before. Whoa! Yup. What are we doing down there? We're like cheering. We're like, yeah, he's dead! <laughs> now we're gonna play soccer with your head. Way to go! Got Spears Orb. Nice. Thank you very much. I didn't need your help. What the, what the hell? Hey, sorry about that. This child received such a shock from drifting here. It's lost all its memories. It really is a nice child. It plays tricks on people sometimes, though. So we got a little bit of a heckler here. Come on, old timer. Give me a break. Take it easy. Tropicalo broke out of a seal palace. There. What? Tropicalo. Your memory might return if you receive some power from the mana seed. Huh. I think I see where this is going. Not alone, the palace was buried. There must be so tons of monsters by now. Would you be so kind as to accompany? Th yeah, that's what I th that's what I figured. What happens if I say no? Cause this guy seems kind of like a jackass. I don't know. He seems a little bit big-headed in more ways than one. I'm gonna say no. No thanks. Oh please, no! I s damn it! Didn't you hear me? Oh, is this a butt down must? God damn it! <laughs> What luck? Did you hear that little one? Against my will, I'll take you, little fella. Hey, brother. Brother? My name is Argon! <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, say why... Say why don't you name me, too. That'll make it easier for you. I read that more awkwardly than I ever could have. Okay, I have to name this guy, too? So you're my third-party member, eh? Ah, oh, because I, I had heard about a third-party member, and I guess because of the three beds in the inn thing... Now what am I going to name this guy, though? Shoot. Shoot. Um. Well, I'm going to do the sort of the same thing I did when I was naming Sydney, and I'll cut away until I think of something good. Okay, guys, I think I got a name here. Uh, There is a story behind this name, Edge, but it's so long and convoluted and probably wouldn't make any sense to anyone, so I think I'll omit it for now, unless you really want to hear it, then you can uh, tell me. But that's what I'm going with. Edge? What kind of name is that? Like, ah, nice to meet you. Huh? Man, this whole th this whole place is nonsensical. <laughs> I told you dwarves were ridiculous. Alright, so now, I assume I'm going to need to set uh, Edge to... What does he have? He has a boomerang? Spike knuckle. Oh, wait. No, this is a... Okay, he comes with the boomerang. What's his armor like? Let's see. Uh, no, equip, dude. Come on. Oh, he's got the midge robe. Okay, that's the thing that we saw in the store I couldn't buy. He's got nothing on this front, though. Okay. And, uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna set his, uh, thingy. His, uh, what is it? The action grid? Yeah, I wanna set him to... Where do I have everyone else? Right there? Sounds good. Sweet. So, uh, now what are we up to? We have to go to... We can get to the palace by way of a hole over there. Good luck. There is a lava field which Eleni made to seal the palace. First, you have to go to Eleni's castle to ask her to dissolve the seal. Eleni used to be a good witch, but she's not anymore. <laughs> is that all the explanation we ever get for that? Go north to the haunted forest, find her castle, and ask her to open the seal. Here are bow and arrows we found along with the little one. Take them. Received. Chabin's bow and arrows. Cool. Is that his name? Is that, is that what his name is supposed to be? Chabin? That reminds me. Watts the blacksmith was looking for you. Visit his workshop. You got it, friend. So where did all those other stalagmites come from in the first place that were all blocking my path during that boss battle? Jeez. So the blacksmith wants to see us, eh? Well, I never wanted to say no to a blacksmith, so let's see. Well, I tried to make an axe, but it's no good. Wonder why. Got a boomerang, huh? Wait, I know! Try holding this axe! That's it, mana power these weapons... Do Wait, mana powering these weapons doesn't work until you hold them. This axe is mighty special. You could even smash a boulder with it. And you'll smash his face with an iron, too, for 100 GP. Sounds good to... Oh, my goodness. Sounds good to me. There should be more mana weapons to find. Bring them to me. They need to be forced to release any mana received from the orbs. And only I can do it. Now let me show you a shortcut. Okay. This is cool. So we, so we have to come here every time we get one of those orbs? Oh, hey, look at this. This will make it a lot easier for you. Well, didn't we get a sword or a spear orb from that boss too? Okay, which one's ready? Uh, 
we're able to forge the spear, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, 200. Alright, so now we have, let's see, we have a heavy spear, we have Watt's axe, we have a broad sword, we have a spike knuckle, and we have a boomerang. So we don't have the boomerang yet, obviously. Well, that's neat. Okay, so we're actually, I'm actually starting to get into the mechanics of upgrading these weapons now. Where does this go? Hmm, big, long, purple staircase. I trust it. Oh, hey, this comes out... Okay, nice, awesome. I mean, a strange place, per. Yeah. God, I feel like I haven't been saying anything. I, f I don't know, I'm just kind of... Maybe I shouldn't have recorded right now, because I'm kind of out of it. I don't know why. I've had a weird day, I think. Well, there we go. We have Edge in our party now. That's cool. Isn't Edge a character in some Final Fantasy game? I forget. Oh, but yeah. Do I have time left for anything else? I'm going to cut out a bunch of that, like, name deciding crap, but, uh... I don't know about anything else. Sydney, oh my goodness, she gets stuck on every single wall. This is nuts. Hmm. No, see, what am I telling you, man? See, Edge isn't doing that, Sydney. I don't know what your problem is. Good lord. What the? Okay, thank you. She managed to figure her own way out of that one for once. Yeah, I don't know. It just, it just seems to me that this has been a more of the one of more of the slow videos, even though we did get like a new party member and all that stuff. Uh, dude, I want to kill this guy. Thank you. Busby gets worked. Sweet. Uh, dude. Oh my god. I like completely forgot about monsters because like I haven't fought one in like this entire video except for the boss, which didn't even feel like a monster really. Still have no idea what the hell that thing was supposed to be. Edge is unconscious. You asshole. How dare you knock out Edge? He's my favorite. Well, actually, no, but... Let's get a move on, guys. We got our whole party of three now. I wonder how long it's going to stay a party of three, though. Hmm. Edge reaches level two. Oh, yeah, he's going to start a level one. Crap. Well, I'm sure he'll level up fast enough with, the mo with all the monsters we have to fight. I'm sure there's going to be plenty around. And now monsters are going to go by a whole lot faster now that we have three people to handle the damage. Um, well, this is the Haunted Woods. I think I'm going to have to end it off here, guys, because I have no idea what time I'm up to, actually. My thing says, like, 22 minutes, but I don't know if I trust that. I don't know how much I have to cut out, actually. So, I think I'm going to call it, and next time, uh, hopefully we'll figure out more about this Eleni person. So, thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.